In the following XMesh demo, we'll create a history dependent selection cache. In the scene, we have a geosphere moving along a path. It's actually keyframed over time and it's moving on top of a plane with 100 by 100 segments. We'll add a volume select modifier in vertex mode and we'll select the vertices using the geosphere. We'll set the soft selection with 4 off of 5 and if we move the time slider the vertices inside the sphere will be selected. Now we want to save this plane to an XMesh cache. We'll drag the plane to the list of objects to be saved. We'll be saving from frame minus 1 to frame 100 and we'll be saving right now only the selection channel for speed where we could save all the channels and we'll disable the optimize data option so each frame will save the complete set of necessary files without any reference to previous frames. The resulting XMesh loader will now replicate exactly the plane that we have and we'll copy the volume select modifier from the plane onto the XMesh load. If we display the selection using a turn to mesh, which passes the vertex selection up the pipeline, we'll see that the saved sequence contains exactly the correct selection from the volume select. Let's now resave this XMesh over itself with an, a frame offset of minus one and we'll use frames 0 to 100. That means that on each frame we'll be loading the previous frame and then we'll set the volume select in additive mode. So we'll be accumulating the selection over time, loading the previous frame, adding a new selection and then saving over the current frame, then moving to the next frame and loading the one that we just saved. And the result is a trail of selection left behind the geosphere. Right now it's offset by minus one, but if we set it to zero offset it will be correctly synchronized to the motion of the geosphere and now we have a z-like trail left by the volume select. Now let's assume that we want to also fade off this trail over time. We can use a genome modifier and set it to output a selection We'll also input the selection, but we'll multiply it before that by a value below 1, in this case 0 0.9. That means we'll take only 90% on each uh, step from the previous selection. And if we resave with offset of minus 1 from 0 to 100, we're going to get again a growing selection, which will be fading off over time. If we turn off the genome and uh, volume select modifiers, we can play back what was cached and you see that the uh, selection is growing and fading. But we're getting this uh, trail of deep blue vertices. These are vertices that have a value very close to zero but not exactly zero. So we can expand our genome flow. We'll use a switch operator which will test if the selection value is greater than a certain threshold, for example 0.01, will output the multiplied value and otherwise will output 0. That means if it falls below 0.01, it will be reset to 0 and the dark blue selection will disappear. We can just resave on top of the existing sequence We'll disable the selection modifiers and show the saved cached version. You see that the dark blue vertices are disappearing over time, but they don't disappear completely because our threshold is a little bit too low. Uh, we can increase it, for example, set it to 0.1. That means the moment the selection goes below 0.1 is going to be assumed to be zero. Now we can resave once again and the result will be correctly fading off when it reaches a value be below 0 0.1 it's going to be immediately set to 0 and we don't leave any trail behind. Now that we have our selection let's try to deform the selected vertices using 3ds Max modifiers. Let's say that we want to push our soft selection away from the geosphere 
we can add a push modifier with a negative value to displace the surface according to the soft selection. But since the result is not very smooth, we can add a relax modifier on top. We have to keep in mind that the relax modifier also takes into account the soft selection coming up the stack. So right now it's relaxing only the selected vertices and leaving a really hard edge. We can add a mesh select modifier in object mode in order to stop the flow of the soft selection of the stack. And now if we move to the relax, we're going to affect the complete plane, including the non-selected vertices. At this point, we can play with the settings of both the push modifier and the relax modifier in order to enclose the geosphere completely into the indentation in the plane and make it look reasonably smooth. We can use the same approach to create effects like uh, footsteps in the snow or any kinds of deformations that require history dependence.